Welcome back to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to Excel-Templates.com to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today uh, I have a number format question um, that came in and uh, wanted to do this for a little bit of while. Uh, one thing I, I noticed in using Excel, if you're going to create formulas using time, so I've just gone over here and let's just redo it. Just entered 1200 space PM and you'll see that Excel changes that into uh, a number format. So if I do one, zero, zero, once I put that space in there and do PM, see it converts it to a capital. And if I actually looked at this, you see it's 0.54. It's a time on January 1st, the year zero, or I know the year uh, 1980 probably in most cases, although sometimes it might be 1908, depends on the version of Excel you're using. So some different values in there. But uh, um, what I've had is I've had a number of people say, I want to subtract time and I get a lot of errors. So let's just go over to a, a general format area and just say go ahead and do, um, so this is a time format. It's because it's going to pick up the uh, formatting of the number of the calculation. So if I do equals and I just go B2 or B3 minus, and I go highlight B4, hit enter, you'll notice that it puts in a lot of pounds in there. So if I expand that way out, it's just nothing but pounds. It's because it's a number format error. It's a problem. It's uh, not showing you a number because what happens is it can't subtract 12 from 1 um, and then show it as a number format. Let's do it the other way. Do equals 1 p.m. minus the 12 p.m. And you notice it says 1 a.m. Now, it's not truly 1 a.m. Uh, depending on what your calculation you're trying to do, it might be 1, 1 a.m. But uh, what Excel is doing is if I highlight this and change this to a number format, look, it is a point. 41667 um, and that is what represents one hour in terms of time within Excel. So why can't I see that negative number up there? Um, well uh, you can if you want to change your format. So let's go ahead and try it again. Let's do it as a number format. Do equals the B3 minus B4. Hit enter. See I'm still getting that but if I change it to a general or a number format Look at that, I can now see that number in there. And um, it also works if we do the other version, which is subtracting the other way. If you put that as a number format, um, so I've just changed that to a number format um, and then increase the decimals. You see it's working just like we would think. Um, so it, the real issue is that it happens to be that you're using a non-number format. It's saying, hey, there is no negative time, so thus you're getting the, the pound error that you see there of all those pounds. Now, um, but then some people say, well, I want to subtract the numbers, but I don't want 0.004167. I'm trying to calculate, let's say, uh, uh, take away um, some uh, lunch time as the total number of hours worked. Well, how can you do that? Um, pretty simply, uh, and it probably would work in either instance, but uh, what you want to do is you want to do a formula of equals and do hour. Find the hour of cell B3, end your parentheses, and then subtract the hour of cell B4. And if we hit enter, notice once again, I'm getting as a time format, it's grabbing all of those. But if I change that to a number format, um, you can see that it does say, hey, it's a negative one. Likewise, if we do it um, in a the reverse order, so we're going to do 1 o'clock p.m. minus, oops, uh, end your hour, do minus another hour, and do minus B3, hit enter. It still will work, but you probably don't want 12 p.m. If you hit um, your accounting number format, anything like that, you can get that to equal a number. So uh, always probably go to that number format when you're subtracting those hours out. So um, once again, you want to, uh, if you're trying to find the hours, use the actual hour formula in Excel. If you need minutes, you can also add in the minutes and subtract that as well. Um, and uh, but that's time for another video. So uh, that's some quick tips on Excel and time and how to subtract time. Remember, there is no negative time. You'll see those, all those pounds there. You can just change that to a number format and it'll fix all of your problems. Um, and then if you're trying to find an exact amount of time like hour, uh, you can use the hour function on each one of those times to dig out the, uh, the number of hours and subtract those. Once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to Excel-BoardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Also, subscribe to my video channel so that you get the next post delivered directly in your inbox.